So I just want to show you my setup that I currently use for making music spontaneous. It is very compact and it's not very tidy at the moment. So excuse me for that. That is a Zoom Air 42 that I use for recordings, but I mostly use only two tracks or so. And then I go into my amplifier, what is the Fender uh, though that I use for guitar. and. Uh, this is my keyboard and today's session is about the keyboard. That's now the setup, so to explain you what you see, you see the keyboard, what is a very cheap keyboard that I used for um, um, organ sounds and also piano sounds ma mostly, but it also has the drum section, what I really prefer, that's why I choose it, um, compared to the ex more expensive model that would be, for instance, the Yamaha Reface. I want to uh, achieve the same um, uh, sound uh, from, from that keyboard. And therefore, I use some um, effects that you see above uh, that transform this cheap keyboard into a very good keyboard, I would say. Yeah. Uh, but on the other hand, it's very compact. And for my recording setup, I can I put everything to together in one corner later and I don't have a um, big keyboard on my desk. It's all it's already recording now in the uh, in the uh, multi-track so I later want to So what you hear now is the keyboard itself yeah? and here are only a few a few tones available. sound not bad for that small device and uh, the um, this section here I will come to this later so this here is a distortion pedal that I use when I want to have that Rhodes uh, distortion can of course adjust it a bit yeah. and um, this one here is a delay and that here I just built the, uh, the looper that the Panda has built in but um, you can use any looper what doesn't matter and this one here is my newest achievement that is a B9 organ so this pedal is pretty amazing because as you might know the built-in organs of most cheap keyboards look uh, sound a bit crappy and uh, I, uh, this cheap keyboard has also no dual function where I can overlay it with another sound so it would of course be good to combine a piano with an organ but this is not possible. Uh, through the effect loop chain here, I can just uh, dial in the organ as much as I like and dial in the um, the um, what is it? Um, the keyboard. Um, and of course, I can combine it with. Uh, distortion um, and the good thing is it has multiple um, dials or multiple organs that I lay over it uh, I can also record something on the the keyboard first I record here something then it is looping and then I can explain you better what what I do here
have the hands free, right? The good thing here is now that I can um, turn on the when when this is active, yeah, I can uh, dial in the organ or the original sound from the keyboard independently. So that was the original sound, or is the original sound? And here you see that is an emulated organ, and this organ has some. Uh, some modulation here so here you see a bit vibrato coming in and this would be a click sound of an organ and each organ sounds a bit different yeah for instance this has a bit more bassy tone and i of course don't need the click sound so much when i hit the key so i can dial it off And this setting alone sounds not not uh, like a cheap um, keyboard at the moment, right? And I can dial in the original um, what was that um, piano? Yeah? The input doesn't matter so much. I, it matters a bit. Yeah? Uh, I can also put in other um, instruments from the keyboard, and it might change the sound a bit. And of course, my distortion. here alone at the moment that gives a bit more more height height to the sound something else that I have um, more deeper tones in it and uh, that is also interesting of course it has pads in it yeah. and those those pads uh, harmonize very good with the uh, with the organ sounds on top of it so here for instance it translates those into organ sounds too much and as you know an organ normally don't have a uh, velocity yeah? but with that trick with that pedal here and that keyboard of course when you choose another input instrument of course now i have chosen the pads the pads have a velocity yeah and also the transformed organ then has a velocity and that is sometimes good when you play alone you have some chords from the organ in a, in a, uh, in another volume of course but then with the same setting you can hover a solo over it what is of course louder um, and this would not a normal organ do right so when I 
switch now to a normal organ from that keyboard at least then directly it is not responding anymore to my uh, touch and every every uh, stroke is the same uh, velocity and that is hard to play then solos over your chord line when everything is so loud yeah? probably more expensive keyboards have that function i don't know but the ones i've tested from yamaha and such uh, normally when it comes to organ sound they all switch uh, the touch responsiveness out yeah? and that that is really um uh yeah uh, hard difficult to play then uh, so but this is uh, overdoing that so now uh, let's loop here another section deeper one and uh, shift and play play it all. so normally I don't loop very much with this device I have here my uh, looper after the chain but for uh, explaining it it's much more convenient at the moment to to have it this way so this would be some organ sounds above it I can use the that is the built-in e-piano of that keyboard put it through all the effect chains here the idea um, so it's more versatile what you can put out of a simple keyboard with some effects added to it and this one is um, by itself not bad it has only four four piano sounds in it but pushing it through that organ uh, pedal and through the other chains you get a lot of more lot of more interesting sound options here of course what kind of music you like to play yeah. and uh, through that pedal here I also put in guitar through it and other um, things I have here so uh, the idea is to have a very small setup so this is not very huge to to 
to have some organ sounds or keyboard sounds uh, over the music you are playing. Uh, also it has some guitars in it. And uh, that's how I record some music. Yeah? I have here um, a bass, also a guitar, uh, and can record everything together. And when I'm done, so probably uh, you can see it here, I can put everything here in the corner. So this won't take many space in my apartment. <laughs> so this is just one one corner for for the music yeah. uh, of course with the larger keyboard you might get better sounds yeah. uh, and so far but probably this will all uh, take much more space in, in my room and I decided to for this setup here yeah. at least at the moment <laughs> things change of course yeah. okay thanks for joining and good day uh, I probably put uh, put something uh, at the end of the video that you can hear some sounds I made with that setup. Yeah? Bye.
Thank you. 